little sugar boogers welcome back to the channel for a brand new episode of let's play the sims 4 black widow challenge so since the previous part there has been a few game changes meaning there's been an update that has recently hit the sims 4 some of the most obvious and apparent changes are that there is a new lighting system in place meaning that we are going to get sun rays and moonbeams kind of illuminating through our windows and overall they're just the whole entire lighting system has been changed there's also also been some um, edits to the creative sim system where we can now kind of pick gender preferences and all different sorts of types of things for our sims as well as allowing them to be more free and creative with their with their looks and um, you know what kind of style clothing they like to wear and all that jazz I do talk more in depth about this in my uh, patch review I guess video I'll link that either at the end of this video or somewhere down below probably be at the end of this video for reference then also there was a few other like little miscellaneous um, add-ins into the game that weren't added into the patch notes, which I do talk about more in my get together LP that I just posted before this one if that all adds up so I did take into consideration you guys thought it would be a little weird that Jasper's lair would be kind of accessible and somewhere where obviously if Angelica wanted to find it she could so I took that into thought and I'm like okay where can I place it I should probably place it in the basement but then everywhere I put it it was like such an obvious entry point that it just didn't make sense so then I decided to go okay well the girls really do need like two separate rooms so I decided to make Tiffany's room over here and then I decided to make um Roxana's room over there and then hiding behind these two uh, um bookshelves is uh, Jasper's lair where he is currently still writing on the book Halo which I feel like he should be done with and then also are some of the findings that he has uh, caught so once he does finish his trilogy I do believe the time would be ticking um, on his existence and he knows that he knows that very well that he is just a, literally a living um, time bomb so uh, something crazy is going down at the ruins and Jasper got invited now even though Kendra's still Donor probably isn't a goddess or anything like that you know um she is definitely female attention and you know what a jasper is feeling a little how do you say he's feeling a little spiteful meaning you know what if she wants to go out there and, you know, <laughs> basically act like she's a human pinata, then you know what? I deserve a little attention too. And we can both play that game. Oh, yes, we can. Jasper Piper is in town, people, and you should be worried. Even though Kendra, Kendra Stoner is a little curious as to why Jasper is showing her um, this attention and affection. She isn't totally off put by it, but she's kind of like, aren't you like in a relationship? Like this is kind of odd. And so Jasper is obviously not familiar with how this game goes as he's been with Angelica for quite a while now. So it's going to take just a little bit of elbow grease on his part to kind of, you know, gussy her up a little bit and, uh, you know, pet her payload the right way and, and make her ease up just, just a hair. So let's go see what this raging dance party is all about at the ruins. And I'm not going to lie to you. It's pretty popping right now. We have a lot of confetti, people on the dance floor. We also have the man that was sleeping with our wife <laughs> oh joy and wherever Angelica Ivana might be right now is honestly none of my concern I have a goal tonight yes I do and it's uh it's it starts with a k and ends with an s it looks like she's starting to kind of put her guard down and um realize that she's just not like a hit it and quit it kind of scenario that Jasper may actually be interested in to her or in her whatever you know like let's just not get hung up on words <laughs> oh my god I've been noticing I've been having a little bit of glitchy glitch happening <gasps> So let's go over here and bring Kendra in to the party where we can actually enjoy her company. Um, we're going to go and give her a quick little pickup line. We're also going to brighten her day a little bit. I don't really think that that pickup line... Ooh! Did she like it? She's like, Row, you little silver fox, you. Ooh. So we're going to go ahead and exchange some numbers. You know, the digits, the, 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 whatever they're called, whatever the kids call them these days. We're going to get them. We're going to get them. I'm going to save them in a phone. Basically, unfortunately, I hate to say it, Kendra, you are a rebound situation. If you guys remember, we met Kendra previously at a, um, where did we meet her? Like at a club or a bar or something like that. 
can't exactly remember. I think it was like one of our bad days when, when Jasper was kind of like um, emotionally dealing with the death of his father and how he felt the guilt and the remorse for killing him. Um, I also definitely was checking out your guys' uh, different types of um, suggestions on how we should kill him and when we do kill our other various husbands and stuff, what that should look like. And you kind of really um, seem to like the, the machinima like little form. I think that would also make it extremely realistic. What I'm trying to do right now is be able to kind of break the barrier and become a little ooh, more flirtatious with Kendra. And I think you guys, I think, I think, I think pink ink, we nailed it. Oh my God. Could you imagine how freaking pissed? I mean, ultimately how angry freaking angel would be right now she would probably make this chick absolutely freaking disappear like she would she would make her go away permanently forever never to be seen again but who really knows if she would what if she found out you guys like what if we took a picture together of me and Kendra. We should. We should totally take a picture of me and Kendra. I'm just going to do it because I can. Um, wow, you have a really long job title. So let's just do take a photo with uh, Kendra Stoner and see kind of what that looks like. Um, and uh, who knows? We might. I don't know if we should like piss her off. I don't know. I don't. I'm kind of like worried to make angel mad because i'm kind of like afraid of what's gonna happen but i'm also a little bit excited I'm, I'm not gonna lie to you though um i'm also kind of into jade just a little bit kendra is actually really pretty like she is really really pretty you know i mean just kind of match her eyebrows to her hair and you've got a looker there i was kind of mean to me earlier i'm sorry kendra i do apologize <laughs> um and jade too i have kind of into her just a little bit i am but you know what? I'm not gonna. I'm not gonna. I'm not gonna sit here and make it a big thing. I'm not gonna pretend like I'm some sort of, you know, bachelor trying to live that life. But um, I am going to add some fuel to the fire, like well, metaphorically and quite literally. Uh, let me go on and call her over too and see if we can um, encourage her to get a little cozy against the flames. <laughs> Again, um, I'm enjoying my 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 single night out, if you will. Oh my goodness. Oh, bad. dude, you're kind of like killing it here with your like stinky little armpits. Have you guys ever watched Red Road um, from Netflix? Yes, if you have, I think it's called Red Road. And um, he honestly looks like the guy, the, the, one of the guys, I forgot what his name was. Um, honestly, I couldn't remember to save the life of me, but he has like really like distinct features like that long hair. He is so freaking sexy like oh my god he's definitely my type but anyway yeah he reminds me of him um like down to the freaking tea so i'm gonna see what else we can do um maybe we can cuddle we can cozy up to the bonfire i definitely think that would be a very romantic little moment here i can't even believe honestly that jasper is doing this like this is so messed up but he is pissed and he's livid and he's a very jealous sim he doesn't like let one in it anybody anybody and i mean anybody get the best of him so even if he doesn't um you know ever tell angel about his little adventure that's happened tonight at the ruins um he's definitely going to ruin her <laughs> um at some point in time <clears throat> don't worry it's gonna happen but yeah, he's he, he could keep this one under wraps and feel totally good about it. That's just the way he is. Two definitely, like two wrongs don't make a right. And I don't encourage, you know, this kind of shenanigans. Actually, hell, in the game, I totally encourage it. But, you know, I, I, gotta, I gotta let this man have it. He is definitely, uh, he's, he's definitely... He's, he's, he's surprising me right now. So Jasper's actually discovered that Kendra is an alien. The disguise seemed perfect except for that one rather well alien detail. God, thank God you didn't find that out after you were like doing something a little more intimate with her. And she like probed you in the wrong spot or something, you know, that'd be kind of, that'd be kind of intense. <gasps> Ooh, our first kiss. I think Jasper's going to take it there, you guys. I don't see why not. I'm not going to lie to you. She's kind of kind of an easy nut to crack you know just because I, I like being crazy and intense what if we just accidentally had a whoopsie doodle and we forgot to wrap our noodle oh damn dude you were a pretty good fire dancer <laughs> let me go ahead and put out those flames um but no really let's get back on topic real quick let's go try for a baby in the bush isn't that a little too soon she's probably gonna think i'm crazy but like i'm not saying like we're gonna try for a baby on purpose like i'm saying we're having a little risky woohoo and you know i slipped and fell you know turkey baster style it's cool it happens 
happens all the time. It's nothing unusual by any means. He's going to smack her in the butt. Oh, no. <laughs> the tables have turned. She smacked me in the butt. All right. So let's go ahead and see if anything actually becomes of this phenomenon. Could you imagine having a baby with Kendra? <gasps> and how that could possibly bite? Ooh, girl. The storyline is getting juicy. By the way, my mom's here. So if I sound like I'm just suppressing myself a little bit i totally am i'm gonna give her a passionate kiss behind the ruins here and i'm also gonna go and bounce because i've had enough of this like seriously i need to leave now because when rossi's gonna get rossi <gasps> angel is going to get a little um a little curious as to where my whereabouts are so i need to definitely leave and it's 2 a.m by the way so i will totally give her a call later on or maybe, or not. I don't know. I don't really know if I like Kendra, but I definitely, like I said, kind of used her and that's messed up. I didn't, I mean, I mean, she invited me out. What did she expect was going to happen? I mean, in one night we literally had our first kiss, we met, and then we had a baby together. Like that is just only things that can, the only kind of epicness that can ever occur is in a Sims game, I think. Um, so let's go ahead and see what happens after light got you down ghosts can use the whispering wishing well to return to life for a single what i don't know can they what can they do what <gasps> they can return to life for a single night what is tiffany doing outside oh she's trying to see what's going on with her dad all right so we'll go ahead and give him a quick little hug and welcome him home poor thing so oh god i keep wanting to call her rossi but angel's actually fast asleep not a care in the entire world well as you can imagine all that dirty work has definitely gotten jasper's nuts in the tough and he needs to go and take a quick little body shower to uh you know just wash off tonight's events and then we'll definitely have him go and eat a little bit and um i don't know what else he'll do but i need to have uh that these little girls go to sleep and i know what you're about to say isn't tiffany more into you know whatever the situation is like isn't she more i'm gonna say tomboy because that's the best descriptive word that i can come up with and i'm not i don't i don't know why that would ever be an insult personally but that's just me um maybe there is something behind it and I'm just not educated on it but uh, I do feel like Tiffany is more of a tomboy and I do feel like her room would not be pink and girly but again you know Angel is just kind of like so um you know oblivious to how her children are and what their preferences are and what they like that you know that's kind of the room that she got because she thought it would be cute or that's what she saw would be fit it's just it's stupid she's not definitely mother of the year material but meanwhile while jasper is just sitting here kind of cooling himself down and feeling all sorts of fuzzy and warm inside because honestly that was fun he liked it he can i mean he's not agreeing with what his wife does but he can see the low-key appeal here so we definitely need to get this boy a glass of water because we know the thirst is real in Jasper Piper's life, but not really because unlike the Sahara de Desert, <laughs> yeah, the Desert of Piper definitely got some rain if you get what I'm trying to say. But uh, oh yeah, a glass of water. It's tasty, isn't it? All right, cool. So after he's done drinking that, oh, he actually has to go pee again, which is really funny. It is five freaking o'clock in the morning. Like we need to get this boy to bed stat. Like really 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 fast I'm surprised angel hasn't gotten up at all um what did i what did i think of doing or what was i doing i don't remember what i did um let me go and see because so i know we woohooed with with him we don't have to like take a pregnancy test or anything cool so i want to see when jasper actually has to go to work um i need him to go and start also oh, he has to work in three hours oh my goodness oh a daily task romantic interactions they are complete are they now you don't say i wouldn't i would never i would never guess it for a second so tiffany um and her sister are up and i want to really work on their relationship as well um they're not like the most uh you know closest of sisters but i feel like they definitely obviously love each other and care about each other and i feel like they're very different in many ways and that's something i want to play around with so if you guys could help have me develop their personalities a little bit more like how do you think that tiffany you know lucille would act and how do you feel like roxana would act just let me know in the comments down below by the way <sighs> I love them. I always love all my children, but I really do. I really do love them a lot. So even though we said that, uh, you know, Angel had no notion that Mr. Jasper Piper was out, you know, <laughs> 
<laughs> testing all the ladies' oil um, with his dipstick. Well, I definitely think she has some sort of notion. We should totally go rummaging through his, uh, we should rummage through his pants. So she has just seen that her man was with another woman. Interesting. Well, obviously, there's a little bit of tit and tat going on here. And obviously, that wasn't the best executed way to uh, show this. But I definitely think her reaction to what she's seeing is... <laughs> Oh, bish. Really? I hope that you use the best wig glue in town, girl, because your weave is about to get snatched right off your head. Okay, raw style. So, um, she's going to go ahead and put that, put that little painting back, if she could, um, just ever so nicely back into his pant pocket because she doesn't want him to know that she has it. And, uh, well, we're going to go ahead and place that back in there. How does it make her feel? Honestly, it doesn't make her feel anything inside. Um, I have a feeling, though, she's not happy about it. And she might feel even just a little bit jealous. Sure, maybe. But you know what? Nothing is going to get her down because she's on cloud nine. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Two can play that game. So after seeing that little photo of her man and his so-called mistress, we are having Angel go downstairs and prepare a little bit of, uh, you know, some graphics for her man. Obviously, that's what wifeys do when they are in love with their booze or when they want to slowly poison them with arsenic. I don't know exactly what her aim is here, but her, um, her, she's just, gonna, let's just say this, she's taking her anger out on something a little more effective. You know what I mean? So this is definitely not not a meal that we are going to be feeding our children by any way, means, shape, or form. But um, I'm sure Jasper will appreciate. Don't you dare. <laughs> Don't you dare eat that crap. Put that down. Put it down. Damn it. Put down the bacon. Put it down. Don't eat it. Okay. Go ahead and grab yourself something else. Just go ahead and grab Grab. You know what? Actually, <laughs> we'll just pretend this doesn't stink and we'll feed it to Jasper. It's spoiled, but it doesn't have any green nastiness to it. So we'll eat the good stuff and we'll let Jasper eat this stuff. You know what I mean? Why not? So let's go have him come downstairs and grab himself a serving of these delicious home cooked eggs and toast. We're going to have Rossi go ahead and clean up the dishes. Oh, Jasper, honey, dearest. No, put down the. Oh my God, you just screwed it up, honey. You seriously just screwed it up. You screwed up my storyline. Are you proud of yourself? You, what are you going to do? Gonna you gonna go ahead and put it back? You got. Let me guess. You got cold feet. You couldn't do it? Yeah, the Black Widow. Oh, I'm sorry. Was it too dirty for you? You had to get your hands dirty. Gosh, she really knows how to screw things up, doesn't she? Is there anything else in here that's a little more dirty and spoiled that we could actually use? No, unfortunately, Angel just literally jacked up my storyline. But that's okay. That's okay. That's totally fine. I'm good. We're good. We'll go ahead and play nice wifey and uh, call Tamil. I guess she has a little more brushing up to do when it comes to how to successfully poison your husband. I think she got cold feet, you guys. That's just me. She's probably like, no, I cannot do this. I cannot do this to him. Because um, Angel, even though she's like a pretty... Are you freaking kidding me? <gasps> Ooh, boo thing. You are getting a phone call from your side chick oh my god well of course we're gonna go ahead and answer that i need to be caught up on this tea <gasps> hey jasper it's me kendra <laughs> do you want to go out on a date at the solar flare lounge unfortunately honey i actually have to go to work in a couple hours no thanks we'll pretend that wasn't a phone call more or less of a text now angel of course she's still feeling just a little teensy eensy weensy weensy bit on edge about this morning about finding that lovely picture in pant pocket so why don't we go ahead and um we're gonna we're gonna go and yell at him or you know what we'll just give him the cold shoulder for right now no actually we're gonna yell at him at the dinner table because we honestly we know about a few things should we yell at him or should we give him the cold shoulder honestly i'm not even sure at this point you know what would i do would i call him out actually no i am gonna go ahead and ask him though who was that a uh, who was that text from? If he doesn't mind me asking. He's like, it's none of your business. Why are you now so interested in what I do with my life? She's like, now interested. She's like, are you kidding me? You're my husband. He's like, I don't ask you what you do on your day-to-day -day extravaganzas. So why should you care what I do much less? I don't know, baby, honey, dearest. How are those eggs? Choke on it and swirl. <laughs> You know, I mean, I just thought we would be more open and, and communicate with each other about our days, you know, set an example for the girls and how a real relationship works. Oh, my God. <laughs> 
And honestly, I really think right now all that Jasper wants to do is probably like take that fork and just like pluck her eyes out. But yeah, you're absolutely right, honey. I'm sorry. It was my boss calling. He needs me to come in a little bit earlier to work today <laughs> and probably stay late as well. Ah, but I have some work to go do on the computer. Um, well, no, actually, you know what? I can do it at work. It's fine. I love you guys. I'll go ahead and I'll see you later. Okay. <laughs> yeah. Don't get stuck. <laughs> I hate her. I hate her. Oh, we're getting another phone call. Incoming phone. The boss is calling. See, I wasn't lying. The boss really was calling. So Angel's going to go ahead and kind of clean up just a little bit. Now, does she know the lady in the photo by any chance? Does she know this Kendra Stoner woman? I actually don't think she does, believe it or not. But um, we're definitely going to do a little bit of investigating and find out who this little hoochie mama mama is. Um, because I, for one, am extremely curious to see who Jasper is being, you know, kind of cozying up with. So let's go and put her everyday um, outfit on. And, you know, she did say something about the solar flare lounge. So I'm just, you know, going to go ahead and just by chance see if that, you know, by by slight possibility um she could be sitting there kind of by her lonely old self i'm not i'm not sure if that would be a thing but we'll, we'll go ahead and try it out so i don't remember where the solar flare lounge is i do believe it could be possibly in oasis springs and um if we see a girl with pink hair uh that kind of looks like like looks like her we might just hit her up i don't know i don't know i don't know what angel's game at this is how the hell is she about to be a promiscuous chick and then do all these things and jasper this relationship is seven ways to screw it up like these are literally like these two people are made for each other because they are just they are they are sassy to all different levels like i said we're playing investor gadget right now so it was a whim and obviously my whim was extremely freaking wrong so no big deal we um are just gonna go ahead and go and order ourselves a drink i mean we might as well right let's go and order the most expensive freaking thing that we could probably put on our tab because i'm not gonna lie to you i'm a little i'm a little irritated i'm a little i'm a little upset about you know him and what he did so i'm gonna go and order myself a sea of fire because that is kind of what Jasper has coming to him. Now, I know that this LP is probably going to be a little bit of a long one, and Angelica is halfway through her younger years. So we definitely need to take that into consideration and start kind of wrapping up the uh, the relationship with Jasper. But there's just a few things I need to do first, so we definitely need to fixate it on a little bit more. Again, I can use cheats and stuff like that to just kind of elongate her life because I personally am more into a good storyline than rushing through the pages. Does that make sense? Like when you color, you color in between lines. Like you want it to look good. You want to take your time, right? It's the same thing with my storylines. I don't want to just go ahead and just, you know, rush right through it. So as she drinks her sea of fire and chats up all the local men, um, we're going to actually talk to this guy, Barry Field, only because his outfit matches, and I think that could mean something. Well, it kind of doesn't match, but he's a very interesting kind of guy. He's sitting here with his sweet and spicy, reading the Gentleman Corgi, a memoir book, a nonfiction book. He actually seems pretty interesting when, you know... I mean, as, as far as interesting random sims go, just seems different, you know? So we're kind of being a little flirtatious with him, and he thought that was kind of tacky for a woman to be kind of just forward like that. But for whatever reason, now he's telling us about his woohoo adventures and how he's, like, I don't know, maybe has issues in the bedroom. I really don't know what he's telling me, but I'm just kind of trying to read between the lines on this one. And this chick over here, Latasha Dockery, she keeps getting a little bit close every two seconds. I don't know what she's trying to do. Like, she's trying to whisper in my ear, tell me something I want to hear. But I don't see Kendra, you guys. I just don't. And this is where she was supposed to be. I'm not going to say that, you know, Angel would do something horrible to her. But I definitely think she's curio curious. And curiosity killed the stoner. Just going to say that. I have to. Um, but... While we're here, we're just going to finish up our quick drink. I do actually want to go and um, kind of see really fast. I don't know what time it is. I do want to kind of see how Neil's life is currently unfolding. I do know that as of presently, um, he is still in a real, I think, I think his ex-wife still lives at the house. I honestly can't even remember, but we need to get her to go ahead and like move out, um, and just kind of like move forward with her life if she is still presently there. Uh, let's go look at the Hollingsworth family and it does appear that she is still living in the uh, house so he is actually at the solar flare lounge too which is a little interesting so skirt 
I was going to play him, but I mean, when you have the stars aligned so effortlessly, how could you possibly make the switch now? Um, I'm going to go and see where he's at because that's kind of weird that he's here, but he's not actually here. So is he spying on me too? Because I'm really freaking tired of all these men spying on me. I mean, when you start entangling all these guys into your sick little twisted web, it's, it's only obvious that this is going to happen, but I don't see him here like at all. So you must be like around the surrounding area, um, which is okay with me, but I do want to actually see him. Maybe he's on his way or maybe I'm just blind. I don't see him. You guys, I don't wait. There he is. There he is. I notice you in your cheap little suit. Uh, we could actually ask just to be friends. Wow. So if we were just to be friends, um, oh my God. Okay. Wow. Wow. Oh, wow. If we were just to be friends with him, we could actually erase all of our romantic relationship. I don't think I've ever seen that before. Well, I'm definitely going to go and um, somehow, I guess, I saw him through the window. I don't know how that worked, but he could have just texted and said, hey, you're ne I'm nearby or I don't know, whatever the freaking excuse is. But I really do want to go ahead and like see him for a brief moment while Jasper is at work. So I'm going to go and give him a quick kiss and possibly see if we can go, um, I don't know, back to my place. Sneak him in the house, maybe. I don't know. <laughs> um, but we were definitely just going to be romantic really quick. And he's like, why haven't you been answering all my calls? Oh, he's like, I broke up my relationship with you. And you've been more distant than ever. Oh, my God. She's like, "Are you, what? What is, she, what is he saying? What is he saying to me that she's getting all sassy about it? <gasps> oh, my God. Is he breaking up with her? Is he breaking up with her? Is he breaking up with her? No. He just... Did he just break up with me? Are you freaking kidding me right now? Wait, hold on a second. Did he just break up with me? Did somebody tell me what the hell he just did? He didn't break up with me, but he just told me that he has commitment issues or that he's second guessing his choice. Are you freaking kidding me? Neil Hungsworth, you better freaking grow a pair of balls stat because you and I are definitely staying in this relationship. And if you're having freaking any sort of second guesses with that wench that you call a wife, you definitely need to get it into gear, sunshine, because trust me, this is the best thing that you will ever have in your life. OK, so when I walk away, just picture that real quick. Have a nice day, Neil. I'll talk to you tomorrow. Like, I really do think that he just literally told Angel that he's having second guesses about his divorce and whether or not if he made the right choice like she, seriously he came to find her just to tell me that like here I thought it was going to be something good and positive and like you know really make my day more or less make my year but no he just went and told me that are you freaking kidding me Oh my god, I freaking hate boys right now like I'm literally thinking like Angel I hate men I hate them they're all like little oh, I want to say it so bad the new terminology for a boy who is a boy and not a man, F boy. That's exactly what I feel like Neil is at this point in my life. But whatever, you know what? I'm not going to even let it phase me at all. Definitely, though, we need to take care of our little plant in the back. Um, and it's sprouting. So we actually have a little bit of a cow plant going on right now. And uh, this plant does not need water, surprisingly. It needs food. It needs human flesh. Um, but I think we accidentally put our little cow plant backwards. So if I could just ever so kindly arrange you so you're like, facing the right way that would definitely make my day a little bit nicer and honestly I don't really think there's much else to say or put in this part as of right now but um yeah you guys can definitely go ahead and leave me your suggestions in the comments down below where the sun doesn't shine and it looks like somebody is underneath the bed and having a really hard time but just a quick little FYI this is the last part that I will be filming before Dine Out comes out so if you guys want to go ahead and um you want to like tell me some suggestions or things that you would like me to do with that I guess you could go ahead and incorporate that as well uh, because again you probably won't see this part until after or the next part until after dine out comes out so you may have to wait wait until dine out comes out and then give me the suggestions I don't know if that makes sense I hope so but anyways I really gotta go because I'm just rambling on crouton and it is so late and I need to go hit the sack jack but um don't you come back no more no more and I'm just kidding okay really though Jen you gotta go you gotta go girl you, you gotta let it go okay like I also said just let it go all right Thank you guys so much for watching. Don't forget to go and comment and subscribe. Let me know what you guys think in the comments down below where the sun doesn't shine. And I will see you all next time, my guys. <laughs>